Hello Louisiana ready to drink cocktails review. This RTD can cocktail is made with raw sugar cane, sparkling water, lime, elderflower, bayfront vodka from Rogue Spirits. Rogue. They, they into spirits now. Their beer, you don't see Rogue beers too much anymore. And cranberry. So they start with the bayfront vodka and then they got the cranberry, elderflower, lime, and raw cane sugar. And there's a new label they came out with this past month, but this is the previous 2019 to 2022 label. Uh, there's a date, but it, with vodka it wouldn't really matter. It's gluten-free, 100% natural ingredients, 7.5% alcohol, 12 ounce can. So let's check it out. I've got three other flavors. I remember used to go to the local store and they would have seven or eight different rogue, maybe more rogue uh, bombers lined up. Now, you'd be lucky if you find a single rogue beer in any store around here. Amazing how that's changed. Oh, uh, are rogue spirits taking over the shelves? Um, not really. Uh, to tell you the truth, uh, There's some carbonation here. It is very deep pinkish red from the natural color. No food coloring. All right, so um, I've had good experiences most of the time with rogue beers. But like I say, I don't see them anymore, so I don't review them anymore. They sent me some stuff once in like 2014. But... That was kind of like at the precipice when they were about to start fall, fading away. I never heard from them again. Okay, well, I wasn't, you know, I never asked them for anything. They just contacted me. So I said, okay. I'd be glad to review it. And the, and the, and the beer was very nice. Uh, it was an IPA, I believe. This smells like a, an admixture, admixture of fruit and spices. The vodka, if it's high quality, should be odorless and flavorless. That's the better vodkas, odorless, flavorless. You may get some of the $6.99, $7.99 vodka, and they may have a corn aroma or something. Could be something wrong with it. Although you may, you may enjoy that flavor and aroma. In this day and age, with this economy, I think the value price products, beer, wine, and liquor, are going to really benefit. Okay, taste. Cheers. This is the first video review for this ready to drink can cocktail in the world which is strange after three long years it's another indication it's very spicy not in a heat spicy heat but in a spicy you know non heat spiciness football way body medium finish dry Sweetness level, low. Tart level, low. Bitterness level, non-existent. Fruitiness, yes. Sugar, sweetness, yes. But none of this is, uh, you know, obnoxious, loud, garish, in your face. However, on the other hand, it's kind of bland. So they, I know they dialed it back so it would be more refined and elegant. And that's good. But it is kind of blah. Bayfront vodka with natural flavor. Now their vodka might be very nice. I don't really do vodka reviews. I've done some. I just wasn't thrilled with vodka. I'm not an anti-vodka item. Not an anti-genite. I just don't find it too exciting. Uh, distilled and mixed by Rogue Spirits, Newport, Oregon. So they got... They're, if you get on their website, they're promoting the distillery. Seem like that's their main focus, but that's fine with me. Um, yeah. There's a lot of macro, middle crow, micro, can, some bottle, but mostly canned, ready to drink cocktails. Uh, they are one to another, company to company, they're more similar than different. I mean, the, the main thing you'll notice is they're very sweet usually you don't typically pick up the alcohol uh, 
they're kind of overpriced. Um, they, they're trying to mimic cocktails that you would get at a bar, and they probably do a good job. I don't drink cocktails, so I really wouldn't know. Um, yeah, and they got different various juice and spice flavors and sugar flavor, you know, and they're not bitter or anything like that. Uh, so, I uh, mean, you know, Beam Suntory does the bottles uh, still, um, which are rather expensive. And then um, most everybody else doing the cans. I'm, I'm going to tell you, the flavors are all good. There's no bad, off-putting, or offensive flavors whatsoever. Just that it's kind of bland. It's a bit bland. And um, if you're into these, and I'm not, but if you're into the RTDs, it's fine. But I would probably pick something else, honestly. Just something with a little more excitement to it. Um, I thought the... Um, Was it the something nine, Liberty Nine? I deleted one of the videos accidentally um, from Diageo. He had a little bit more going for it. But I mean, just try them all. I mean, you go to a convenience store, they got they got the ones from Canada, they got the ones from Sazerac, the club, they got these. They they they, they um they're everywhere, the spirit base. So why not just try them all? But to me this one is a little less of it probably more quality ingredients they're just coming across as 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 dull still very pleasant I'll give it a B 86 out of 100 8.6 out of 10 it's a good product um, but uh, you you would have to decide if it's worth your while to pay that upcharge to get something a little on the, on the uh, bland side so but it's still good but certainly not bold in any way. Maybe if I drink the whole can, which I'm going to do, the 7.5 might give me some boldness. But um, we, we talk about the taste. It's minimal. All right, thanks for watching this video production. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all, lazy les bon temps, really. Y'all go to Newport, Oregon, and tour the Rogue Brewery, and then tour the Rogue Distillery, or vice versa.